Hey everybody, we're gonna be doing some maintenance on this Kawasaki engine brake control. It's located on the top of your CVT belt cover. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is remove this O-ring. It's on the bottom. Then there's also a star clip in here. I'm gonna just take my pick and work it off. That'll come off. Then I'll turn it over here on this side where the motor's located and there's three Phillips screws in here we're gonna have to remove. This cover only uh, worked this motor one way. So on this side, I've went ahead and marked it. I've grooved it out so I know how it goes back correctly. It just pulls off. I wanted to point out there's two magnets down this motor cover. And a lot of times these will come off or get knocked loose because when these units stop working, people will hit these with a hammer uh, to get them back working and that'll knock these magnets loose. And some people have had good luck uh, super gluing these back in actually, so um, just ideal. And there's a gasket here at the bottom. Just gonna pull it off. There's one last Phillips screw. So we can split the case on it. Remove that and then we'll just pull it apart. Okay, with that apart, you'll see there's a rubber gasket here, still in the case. And this one looks pretty clean. I am gonna remove these gears. Next in the top portion of the case, you can see this has got some rust and some pitting on it here. I'm gonna clean that up. So I'm just gonna pop this gear out, just slide straight out. Okay, so I got all the parts cleaned up here. Now we're gonna reinstall grease on the end of my screwdriver and put on these gears. This big one will go in first. Now the smaller one will fit right in here. Gonna wiggle it around a little bit. And you notice your, your bigger gear here, it's keyed on the end and this key will fit right there. And I'm gonna put a little grease around this O-ring. Just take my finger and rub that around. Then I'm gonna dab a little bit on the top of this one and a little bit on the top of this one because when the case goes back together, those pins are right in here. All the gears back in, I'm gonna take the gasket and reinstall it. There's a groove here for it. Okay, next we'll be putting our bottom plate back on. Just slide it on. I'm gonna have to hold it upright and wiggle it around a little bit so all the pins go back together. Here at the bottom, It'll go right there. I'm gonna put just a tad bit of grease on it too. And lastly, on the back side, putting my rubber O-ring back on. Now just flip it, reinstall the gasket, and then the motor cover. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna put my screws back in and put the assembly back on the CVT cover and we'll be good to go.